Hello, good morning. I'm Dane and this is my daughter Sylvain. Welcome to Tiny Art Tales by KMAC Museum. Today we're going to talk about keep on trying. So we're going to talk about not giving up. Not giving up. What do you do if you have a problem? You talk it out. You talk it out. Keep on trying. Say if you wanted to learn how to ride a tricycle. What would I you do? already know how. Yes, you already know how. But you had to practice, right? And you had to keep on trying. You couldn't just do it right away, could you? No. We all need to keep on trying and keep on learning. And whether it's learning to walk, learning to ride a bicycle. I'm still learning how to ride a bicycle without training wheels. That's wonderful. It takes time. It's not easy, is it? I haven't started since I fell off my bike. Yeah, you got a you got a scrape, didn't you? But that's Shoot. not going to stop you from keeping trying, is it? No. No, it's not. So our first story today is called Rosie Revere, Engineer, and it's by Andrea Beatty, illustrated by David Roberts. A little helicopter. Ooh, try to for a game, try to spot the bird in every picture. Can you see the bird? This is the story of Rosie Revere, who dreamed of becoming a great engineer. In Lila Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek, young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. Try to find the bird. Let's see here. We'll, get, we'll, we'll let them do that on their own. But when no one saw her, she peeked in the trash for treasures to add to her engineer stash. Oh, wait, they haven't. Hang on. Hang on, Sylvie. Let go a second. Uh, late, late at night, Rosie rolled up her sleeves and built in her hideaway under the eaves. Ooh, she's looking for a treasure. At your school, they have a recycling challenge, don't they? to make treasure out of trash. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmo she loved. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they'd never be seen. Wow, look at all of those. Wow. Oh, I see the bird. I must be her little friend. When Rosie was young, she had not been so shy. She worked with her hair swooping over one eye and made fine inventions for uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser and helium pants. The shoe fell off. <laughs> and there's the bird. I think mine would fall off too if I floated up in helium pants. Definitely if you were wearing claws. Yep. The uncle she loved most was zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep snakes off his head from parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps the pythons away. Let's give them a closer look of the yeah, cheese. Yeah, just show this page. And when it was finished, young Rosie was proud but Fred slapped his knee and he chuckled out loud. He laughed till he wheezed and his eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who stood there embarrassed, perplexed, and dismayed. She looked at the cheese hat and then looked away. I love it, Fred hooted. Oh, truly I do. But Rosie Revere knew that could not be true. She stuck the cheese hat on the back of her shelf, and after that day, kept her dreams to herself. Are there any laughing snakes? All of them. Oh, all of them laughing. How embarrassing. And that's how it went until one autumn day, her oldest relation showed up for a stay. Her great-great aunt Rose was a true dynamo who'd worked building airplanes a long time ago. 
She told rosy tales of the things she had done and goals she had checked off her list one by one. She gave a sad smile as she looked to the sky. The only thrill left on my list is to fly. But time never lingers as long as it seems. I'll chuck that one up to an old lady's dreams. That night, as Rosie lay wide-eyed in bed, a daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to keep her aunt, to help her aunt fly? She looked at the cheese hat and said, No, not I. But questions are tricky. And some hold on tight. And this one kept Rosie awake through the night. So when dawn approached and red streaks lit the sky, young Rosie knew just how to make her aunt fly. She worked and she worked till the day was half gone, then hauled her cheese copter out onto the lawn to give her invention a test just to see the ridiculous flop it might turn out to be. I get this page turned. Here we go. Strapped into the cockpit, she flipped on the switch. The helio cheese copter sputtered and twitched. It floated a moment and whirled round and round, then froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. Then Rosie heard laughter and turned round to see the old woman laughing and slapping her knee. She laughed till she wheezed and her eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere. Thought, oh no, never, never, ever again will I try to build something to sputter or spin or build with a lever, a switch, or a gear. Never will I be a great engineer. She turned round to leave, but then Great Aunt Rose grabbed hold of young Rosie and pulled her in close and hugged her and kissed her and started to cry. You did it! Hooray! It's the perfect first try! This great flop is over. It's time for the next. Young Rosie was baffled, embarrassed, perplexed. I failed, said dear Rosie. It's just made of trash. Didn't you see it? The cheese copter crashed. Yes, that her great aunt, it crashed. That is true. But first, it did just what it needed to do. Before it crashed, Rosie, before that, it flew. Your brilliant first flop was a raging success. Come on, let's get busy and on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled at her aunt as it all became clear. Life might have its failures, but this was not it. The only failure, the only true failure can come if you quit. They worked till the sun sneaked away to its bed. Aunt Rose tied her headscarf around Rosie's head and sent her to sleep with a smile ear to ear to dream bold dreams of a great engineer. At Blue River Creek, all the kids in grade two build gizmos and gadgets and doohickeys too. With each perfect failure, they all stand and cheer, but none quite as proudly as Rosie Revere. Next we're going to sing how would you think about that story? Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're not quite ready for that yet. Next, we are going to sing a song, actually, that Sylvie's grandpa uh, penned the words to my dad. And it kind of goes like this. I know you'll know the two of them. You can do it if you try. Yes, you can. 
You can do it if you try, yes you can. You can do it if you try, if you set your mind to do it. You can do it if you try, yes you can. The more you try, the better you will do. The more you try, the better you will do. Keep trying, just keep trying. And if you just keep on trying, then the more you keep on trying, you the better you'll do. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. You can do it if you try. Yes, you can. You can do it if you try. Yes, you can. You can do it if you try. If you set your mind to do it, you can do it if you try. Yes, you can. So our next story. It's called Wild Ideas. How about I hold it while you read? Okay. Let me see who, let me read who the author and the illustrator is. Oh, it's Ellen Kelsey, artwork by Soyun Kim. So, we were talking about problems, right, Solve? And we were talking about how you solve problems. So, and, and not giving up on trying to figure out how to do things. Well, this book kind of shows us how the animal world solves problems. So, can you open it, please? Ooh, this is a pretty picture. Wild ideas. And here's another one. I hope it doesn't say wild ideas again. Well, that's usually sort of like the in-face page. Problems. Okay, can you hold it up so I can read it too, please? Here, I'll stand here. That might work. Why don't you hold it right in the center? Oh, can you get close to the camera? We can't see it unless you're right there. Okay, hold still. Perfect. Problems are like sticker burrs. They poke, they prick, they nag. Let's see a little squirrel. I think this is a collage. A photograph of a different collage. Collages are when you glue things together. To make art. But sometimes problems spark marvelous ideas. Zip. Step outside. Look. Squirrels can learn to cross roads by watching people. What can you learn by watching squirrels? All around you, creatures seek solutions. Pigeons procrastinate. Bees calculate. Elephants innovate. What's innovate mean? They create new things. They invent. Bears keep count. When orangutans feel puzzled, they stop and think, they plan, they weave safe places to rest. Lots of problems require you to hold tight, but not all of them. Sometimes you just need to Leap! Make like a gibbon and throw yourself into a new situation. Or maybe try a different perspective. When, they, when these animals want to make something happen, they try. They get frustrated. They try again. They invent tools. Chimpanzees fold leaves to spoon cool drinks of water. Sea otters balance rocks on their bellies, perfect for cracking crabs.
A dozen humpback whales blow a fine net of bubbles to trap tasty fish. Pop, 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 gulp. Like you, the mimic octopus is a master of make-believe. Is that a deadly sea snake? That's it. A harmless right flatfish? Oh that's, boy. that's what they are. And that's one, and so is that. Oh my. A poisonous lionfish parading its venom-tipped spines? What is a cam camouflage octopus up there? It's a camouflage octopus. A mimic octopus. Mimic is like, you copy everything I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you turn to friends and family for support, and so do other animals. Ravens use gestures to offer ideas. Hyenas cooperate to help the hunt. Killer whales rely on their mother's wisdom. Baboons get guidance from their dads. And when they're seeking direction, dung beetles look to the heavens and steer by the Milky Way. They look at the stars to see where they're going. Problems that need solving will always be part of life. Untame your imagination. Yes! <laughs> A world of wild ideas awaits. Right? <laughs> Thank you for listening to, to those two stories. And we're hoping that... You will keep trying today, that you will keep persevering and uh, not giving up. So here's a little goodbye song, a little lullaby. Ooh. When you wish upon a star, makes no difference where you desires will come to you. If your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. When you wish upon a star, as dreamers do. Hope you all have a wonderful day today. Goodbye from Dana and Sylvia at KMAC Museum. Bye.